This is Richard Stibbard from webinaction.co.uk with a short series of tutorials on how to connect to a MySQL database using a PDO connection. PDO stands for PHP Data Objects and display and work with the database records. This isn't exactly a new topic. There are myriads of tutorials covering exactly the same subject on the web. But my experience when I was trying to work out how to do this for the first time was that many of these tutorials go into too much detail and actually they overcomplicate what's really a pretty simple topic, losing the learner along the way. So this series of videos presents in just a few minutes the basics of connecting using PDO and retrieving data from the database. Why should we use PDO? Well first there's a choice of only two ways to connect, either MySQL I, the I standing for improved, or PDO. The old MySQL underscore commands are deprecated and they're inherently a security risk and they should no longer be used. If possible, they should be replaced in old code. So it's down to PDO or MySQLi. Both are equivalent in terms of security because both support prepared statements. This means that user input is not entered straight into the SQL query. It's sent along a different channel where it's sanitized and it's safe to use. So both methods remove the risk of SQL injection, inherent in using MySQL underscore commands. Unlike MySQLi, PDO supports both named parameters and placeholder question marks in the prepared statements. MySQLi only supports placeholders. I'll show how to work with both in this tutorial, and you'll see that named parameters are an easier and more convenient way of working with the database fields. Unlike MySQLi, PDO also supports many different database vendors. MySQLi, as we gather from the name, only supports MySQL databases. If you did have to swap from one database type to another, you'd still have work to do because the SQL queries would be different. But at least using PDO, it would be possible without too many changes. In summary, PDO is secure, flexible and convenient, and it's the best choice for all new projects and updates. So let's get started.